Namaste to you all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment because that is appreciated. So this topic is about putting your trust into the universe, okay? Putting your... Trusting the process, okay? Trusting the process and realizing that you are exactly where you need to be. Now, what I'm seeing in my own journey is the fact that each experience is actually a lesson, okay? Each experience teaches me something about life and teaches me something about myself, okay? So I'm realizing that it's so important to trust the universe. It's so important to see your manifestations like they have already happened, okay? Because, you know, by the principle of mentalism, whatever we believe to be true will have the power to manifest into our lives. So when your mind is trusting and when your consciousness is about trust, there is a higher chance for you to attract whatever you want to manifest. So my suggestion is put your mind, put your heart and put your actions in vibrational alignment with what you want to manifest. That is how it will come to you. And you know, sometimes you don't always get what you want, but in essence you get what you need, okay? You get what you need to experience in order to evolve. So when you see that each moment is a lesson, when you see that each moment is an opportunity for you to become your best version, you realize that maybe it's not even about what you accomplish, but more likely about who you become in the process, okay? Who you become in the process. And you know, we all have um, desires, okay? We all have dreams. And these dreams are happening only when we are in vibrational alignment with who we really are. But from my perspective, it's not so much about the accomplishment, okay? It's more likely about your state of, com of consciousness. Because so many of us, we are uh, so attached to our outcomes. But from my perspective, it's not about the outcome. It's more likely about your state of consciousness and who you are becoming in the process, okay? So we're so focused on doing, 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 but we are forgetting about the state of beingness. And the magic is happening in the state of beingness because your energy will attract everything into your life. So if your energy is of a low vibration and if your consciousness is of a low vibration, then you will get actually attract things of a low vibration. But when you raise your frequency to the next level and when you are stepping in a mm, more connected state of consciousness, you realize that you can begin to be anything that you desire, okay? So remember guys, if you really want to trust the process, you got to remind yourself that you have a mission, okay? You have a sole purpose. You have to um, really open your consciousness into the vibe of love. And what I believe to happen is the fact that the universe always works in perfect mathematical ways, okay? There's the principle of cause and effect, okay? Every effect has a cause. It means that nothing is random into the universe. So in a way, everything that is happening in your life is your subconscious creation. It is your subconscious creation. My suggestion is if you really want to get a different outcome and if you really want to get a better outcome, you gotta shift your energy. You gotta shift your, con your subconscious mind. You gotta attune your energy into a state where you are a vibrational match to whatever you want to manifest, okay? So by the principle of correspondence and resonance, what is happening within yourself will also attract your outer world, okay? So if you really want to trust the universe, you gotta attune your energy to whatever you want to manifest. And again, maybe it's not even about what you accomplish, guys, okay? We're so focused on our accomplishments. We're so focused on our identity, who we are in the world. But we are forgetting about authenticity. We are forgetting about our state of beingness. We are forgetting about love, okay? So my suggestion is, if you really want to trust the universe, you gotta make peace with yourself first. You gotta step into that authentic state of consciousness, okay? You gotta be magnetic, you gotta be yourself in the process. Because when you are giving your power away in trying to impress other people maybe, when you are giving your power away in uh, constantly caring about your self-image, then you won't be able to be 
um, in that state of consciousness that fits you best. But when you operate from authenticity, when you operate from a detached state of consciousness, you will realize that you can begin to shift your mind in a, in a different way, you know? So guys, remember, if you really want to trust the process, you got to trust yourself. You got to trust yourself. You got to look within yourself and see what your skills are maybe you gotta look within yourself and see what your self-expression is okay so it's all about the work that you need to deal with yourself that is how to trust the process you gotta work on yourself okay i've seen in my own journey that in my past i was so attached to certain things and i was realizing that i was only creating suffering okay i was so attached to certain outcomes i was so attached to maybe other people but what I'm realizing right now is the fact that the power is within myself. So when you internalize your power and when you get to express it at an authentic level, the universe will respond, okay? So the universe always responds to you, okay? The universe always responds to your energy, to your thoughts, to your feelings. So if you are living in a lack mindset, and if you are living in a scarcity mindset, then the universe will have to say yes to that, okay? vibration is always working correspondence is always working what you believe to be true it will manifest into your life what you subconsciously believe to be true will manifest into your life okay so in a way your outer world is only mirroring back to you your state of consciousness if you shift what is happening within yourself you will also shift what is happening outside of yourself okay so as within so without as this as the soul so the universe as the universe so the soul okay so in a way it's all happening in relationship with yourself my suggestion is take responsibility for your thoughts feelings and actions and you will get to attract the best outcome okay so when you are in alignment with who you really are when you are connected to your true essence you will get to also be connected to the consciousness of the universe and i call this the consciousness of the spirit the consciousness of the higher self the higher self is always guiding you and your higher self is operating from the consciousness of the higher intelligence of the cosmos, okay? Your higher self is has seen all the future parallel realities and it is guiding you towards the most appropriate one. So my suggestion is find the answer in your heart, find the answer in your intuition, find the answer in your guidance, okay? So if you really wanna trust the process, you gotta follow your heart. Because someone beautifully said, the universe opens the doors to those who have the courage to follow their hearts, you know? So it's about that self-love, it's about that self-expression, it's about that action that feels good. It's about doing what you love, that is how to trust the universe. That is how to be in alignment with who you really are, okay? So yeah get to step into your own personal evolution get to evolve that is such a beautiful thing because i see that in today's society so many of us we are static we are feeling stuck but you get unstuck only the moment that you are actually getting unstuck you know so my suggestion is open that heart to the action open that heart to the consciousness of a higher vibration and you will see magic happen because the universe again it always responds to you it responds to your energy to your frequency okay so if your energy is in alignment if you are doing what you love if you are being your authentic self then the universe will bring you people circumstances and events that will reflect that energy it's all responding to you guys okay it's all happening for you now don't get me wrong sometimes it's okay to be in pain sometimes it's okay to be out of alignment sometimes it's okay to maybe be static and reflect on your experiences contemplate on your past and future maybe you know because you know in those moments where you are feeling disconnected you learn to connect again okay so there is no right without left there is no light without darkness so you need both energy sometimes you need to be in a lower state maybe in order to uh, grasp for the higher vibrational state so it's all about getting to know yourself in the process that is how to trust the universe when you know yourself you will also know the universe okay so it's all happening with the purpose for you to evolve my suggestion is be open to evolution 
okay <laughs> be open to that uh, beautiful creative process maybe be open to love be open to your state of beingness be open to receiving okay i believe that so many of us we are always trying to give 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 but sometimes we also need um the pause and the space to receive okay so it's about the masculine energy but it's also about the feminine energy you know you gotta balance yourself you gotta find the equilibrium okay so yeah guys the universe works in perfect mathematical ways and all that is happening in your life in a way is your creation my suggestion is if you really want a different outcome you gotta have a different state of consciousness because like attracts like your energy attracts whatever is happening into your life okay my suggestion is don't blame the universe for the things that you are experiencing don't blame life for the things that you are experiencing my suggestion is take responsibility instead and be responsible for your own state of consciousness your own creation and you will see how the universe will shift the things for you okay but you know uh, another perspective would be that you shouldn't be attached to the external world it's more likely about taking care of your inner world you know being responsible for your inner world because so many of us were only living from the outside in but my suggestion is go within yourself and live from the inside out okay you are an alchemist when the outer things are no longer influencing your inner world okay you are an alchemist when you begin to shift uh, your inner world okay so the outer world shouldn't affect your inner world okay because perception creates reality and the most negative thing may happen to you but when you perceive it in a beautiful and positive way you also shift that thing okay so it's all about your mind it's all about your mindset it's all about how you choose to view stuff okay so yeah guys this was today's message about trusting the process and trusting the universe it works in perfect mathematical ways and nothing would ever happen without the universe's permission so when you have this perspective you get to actually trust the process you know you get to uh, accept your experiences okay you are no longer being in denial you realize that there is no space for denial okay when you block something you also give it power but when you accept something you also let it flow so it's all about the acceptance state of consciousness accept more transform more and be yourself more it's all happening for you trust the process trust your actions trust your feelings trust your thoughts and you will see magic happen okay guys so this was today's message about trusting the process and trusting the universe thanks so much for watching and like always see you on what is coming up next i love you so much if you're into the to the youtube channel feel free to subscribe and feel free to leave a comment and feel free to share this video if it inspired you i love you so much much peace and namaste to you all the universe works in your favor the moment that your consciousness works in your favor i love you so much namaste to you all and see you on what is coming up next bye bye